Hey guys, it's Johnny B here again today, and we're gonna be bringing you a video on an IS300 build. Uh, this is gonna be episode two. The goal is to probably get this car to around 600 horsepower. And uh, on the first video, we already showed you guys a little bit of the damage assessment, but if you guys haven't seen the first video, a little quick little recap. This is a 2003 IS300 that I sold about a year ago that I fixed up. The car was gorgeous. Um, a year later, back in my possession because of an accident, uh, they traded it in. I took one of my other ISs that I had, and here it is. So we're gonna be building it. I've always wanted to keep one of these and actually build it. So that's the goal for this, to keep this one. It's not gonna be for sale. And the pearl is just like one of my favorite colors. So this car being one of the only pearl ones that I've ever owned, I wanna make sure I keep this one. It's a gorgeous car. The interior is immaculate, probably like the cleanest interior I've ever had on one of these IS 300s. So that's why we're gonna try to save it. And we're gonna make this car into a beast. Uh, probably be a daily driver, maybe a little bit of a, like a drift event uh, every once in a while. Should be something fun for this. So we want to try something completely different that we've never done. Uh, but you guys have to stay tuned for that. Subscribe, you know, hit that bell notification so you can stay up to date on this car because we're going to be posting videos on it, you know, as much as we can until we get the car done. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and start taking off all these pieces that are damaged. I think we have a bucket, right? Yeah, we do. Just to throw all this stuff into. So we got everything here deleted. Um, all the all the little metals from the core support were, were taken off because they were all bent. Obviously, uh, the radiator, the condenser, the fans were a little bit damaged, so we went ahead and removed all that, the headlight. And now the car's looking pretty good. Even where I wasn't even able to straighten out this little piece of the of the of where it holds the fender. I don't, I don't know if you would call that a frame rail because the main frame rails are right here. So I guess it's, it's kind of like a little structural part that got bent down. Just pulled that back up. 
I'm deciding whether or not we want to leave this or just delete it from here and just do like a tube front. I, I still haven't decided because I think that'd be something cool to do with this project is just go a little bit out of my comfort zone and do something that we've never done before. I do though have the core support over here to the side of the garage. So we actually got a whole front JDM clip and we have the core support there. And uh, so that's why I bought it in the first place. And that's what we decided to, to do. But if we can do something a little bit more custom, it might be nice to do. Um, yeah, uh, hey, don't, don't, hey, don't look at that part yet. That's for a future video. We're gonna show that later on. But this is the, the JDM front clip core support. So we did get fenders, we got a bumper, headlights, all this other stuff that we're gonna be doing to do the swap and to you know make the car look nice at the front. So we have the core support and we have ordered a couple other parts for like, for example, the fenders, the headlights, uh, we have all the JDM stuff and we have a nice front bumper that we're gonna put on that you guys will probably see in another episode. And on the next episode, the plan of attack is to remove the engine and transmission, get that out of here because we're gonna be needing to clean up all of this. It's kind of gunky and kind of nasty. It is car with like 180,000 miles so the engine underneath the subframe underneath the car is just in general really nasty because of all the oil that's leaked over over the years these are known to to leak a little bit and obviously with the mileage in the year it's a 2003 it is going to be a bit dirty so we want this car to be you know as meticulous as possible to where like everything is nice and clean it looks good and uh, there's just not a bunch of like wires and stuff everywhere so we want to clean it up it's something that I've, we've never done on the channel and i think that'd be something fun to do uh, with this car to just go to more of like a show engine format and make the engine bay look really nice but also have you know a high horsepower number uh, apart from it being kind of looking like a sleeper but we are going to do like little things here and there to make it look nice so i don't i wouldn't consider a hundred percent a sleeper but to most people it probably look like a sleeper unless you know you consider a sleeper to be like a beater or something that's like run down and nasty and just is really fast but this is going to be a clean build we're not gonna chop the fenders up for a wide body or anything you know we've done that enough times we want to keep it a nice clean streetable car uh, that's gonna be pushing like 600 horsepower on the stock block so stay tuned for that make sure you subscribe and hit that bell again you know just reiterating because this is something that you're not gonna want to miss this is gonna be really exciting it's exciting for me and uh, you know just the fact of having a 2JZ in here with a uh, with a big turbo is gonna be a lot of fun to do something that I've always wanted to do and uh, there's just, there's not another uh, video out there. I've looked for videos where people do the swaps and stuff like that. Uh, and, uh, you know, have the two Jay-Z's in there and with a big turbo. And they just don't really show you how to do it. So we have no idea what we're doing, but we're gonna try to learn along the way. And I think that's what's gonna be the fun part. And if you guys join, join us for that journey, uh, you guys will learn how to do it yourself too. So that in the future, you decide that you wanna do a two Jay-Z build yourself. Cause who doesn't wanna do a two Jay-Z build? Uh, you can know how to do it and not be questioning and asking around the forums and looking through everywhere. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and, and uh, just wait on for the next one. It'll be, it'll be coming up shortly. So as always, you guys have a great day.